And welcome one, welcome all. Uh, Dustin Harris here, the host of the Appraiser Coach Podcast. Welcome to another mini-sode, folks. Just uh, a question that I get often from my listeners and from appraisers across the country that I wanted to address on a podcast, and that is, what phone system should appraisers be using? I've got a great answer for you coming up. I first want to remind you that we are sponsored by ANOW Software. ANOW can be found at anow.com slash coach. That's A-N-O-W dot com slash coach. For more information on a product that can transform the way that you manage your appraisal office. Well, shout out to everybody on uh, on YouTube, on the Coach Cam. Uh, welcome uh, to my studio. Uh, back in the saddle again. I've been uh, been uh, traveling a little bit the last little while, so I've been uh, broadcasting from various uh, areas. Uh, back in the studio today, if you want to call this a studio. Okay, it's my office. Um, <laughs> but glad to have you, you tuning in. I uh, just got back from my mastermind in... Uh, uh, where was I? Uh, Salt Lake uh, yesterday, and uh, super good meeting, really, really good meeting. I had some uh, amazing appraisers in that meeting, and uh, probably one of the best mastermind meetings that we have ever had, not just in Salt Lake, but all over. Um, just a lot of great questions, a lot of great feedback, uh, just some stellar uh, people. And one of the uh, questions that came up in that meeting was regarding uh, phone systems, and it's a question that I get quite often, actually. Uh, appraisers want to know from other appraisers what works, what doesn't, what they should be doing. And, uh, you know, there's a lot of different ways to answer this. Uh, let me start by saying what you should not do. Okay? Uh, I think this is super important. And, and I've been teaching this from the very beginning. Um, and that is don't mix business and pleasure. It's just is you run into a lot of problems doing that, folks. Um, what I mean by that is I know a lot of appraisers who use the same phone number for personal use as they do for their business use. Uh, they have a cell phone, if you will, um, and uh, whether it is a business call or a personal call, it all goes to the same phone. I would not suggest that. Now, I know some are saying, well, okay, what's the option, Dustin? I just don't get phone calls. Well, a couple different things. First of all, consider getting a different number that could go to the same phone if you are a, a sole appraiser in your firm. But folks, please, think about the uh, benefits of reaching out and and maybe stepping it up a little bit in your business and allowing some help to assist you in your business. Now, whether that actually be somebody that you hire in-house or maybe it's an answering service, you know, there is something about getting a live person. And when you're in an inspection, I don't know about you, but I do not carry my phone. Uh, I don't turn my phone on when I'm in an inspection. I actually use my phone for the mobile inspections. But if somebody calls me, I do not get it when I'm in an inspection. I just think it's rude, um, both to them and to the borrower. Um, so I just, you know, I've, I've made that my rule for years. That being said, maybe, you know, maybe you don't have that situation. Maybe you don't have an answering service, but I would, I would consider it. They're not very expensive. You know, they don't have to know about appraisals. Um, they can simply get the phone and take a message or forward it to you as the case may be. Um, so I would consider that. But, you know, if you don't have that, at least at the very least, folks, don't have the same phone number for personal and business use. Um, especially if you ever plan on expanding in the future, it can be very, very difficult to unwind those cords, if you will. Uh, but let's talk in office. Let's talk about the question that normally comes, and that is, Dustin, what is the best phone system for appraisers out there? And I have used a lot of phone systems over the years, so I consider myself an expert on this topic. <laughs> Not that I know that much about phone systems, but I can tell you, I, I don't want you to reinvent the wheel because I have done a lot of... Uh, I've had a lot of failure with so, with phone systems over the years, if you will. And 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 uh, one thing that I would not do again, because the features are just not there, and that is I would not go to a hardwired standalone phone company phone system. Okay. Now you can get systems, computerized systems that have you know music on hold and and have multiple lines and transferring and various you know things you can do on the computer uh, to set these things up. Trust me, I've been pitched by several phone companies. Uh, you know, these are offshoots, not phone companies in the sense of, of Bell companies, but uh, hardware companies that will come in um, and uh, they will want to set up a system that is a couple hundred dollars, a couple thousand dollars in, in some instances. I think the last time I priced it out, the cheapest I could do it was $800, and it was, it was bare bones. Um, it's just not worth it. 
in the sense that you can get so much more going to a VoIP system. What is a VoIP system? VoIP system stands for Voice Over IP, and it basically means it's an internet phone system. If you have a high-speed internet um, uh, connection, and who doesn't these these days, you can do a VoIP system. Now, it will take buying some hardware. You've got to buy VoIP phones, and they sometimes have to be very specific for the VoIP system that you're looking for. But I'm telling you folks, they are worth it, and they're worth it because of the features, which I'm going to go into after the break. But to answer the question, folks, if you are running a small business, whether it is one appraiser or multiple appraisers, the answer is, on a phone system, VoIP is where it's at. VoIP, voice over IP, is the way to go. There are several companies out there. I currently use Vonage, um, which is also Vocalocity. We started with Vocalocity, and I think Vonage bought out Vocalocity. So just go to Vonage. Um, that's the one that, that I use. There's lots of features that I'll talk about here again after the break, but there are other companies out there. I know some uh, use 4x4. There's others, or maybe it's called 8x8. I could be getting, I could be getting the name wrong. I'm not sure on that, but uh, uh, Google it. You'll find them. Um, I know Grasshopper is a big one. I know some people have been able to make Google Voice work, which is free. To me, Google Voice is bare bones. It, it just doesn't do enough to make me sound good. Uh, and I think, and when I say that, I mean make my business sound professional. I think it's important that when your potential clients call you or current clients call you, that they feel like they are calling a business and not some guy working out of his basement. Now, there's nothing wrong with working out of your basement, folks. I did it for years and years and years, and I know many appraisers who are very successful. The key here is that you don't sound <laughs> like you're working in your pajamas and slippers. Okay, You sound professional and a VoIP system will allow you, if you set it up right, a VoIP system will allow you to do that. Uh, speaking of setting it up right, how is your business set up currently? Are you managing your business well? Are you simply going from appraisal to appraisal or are you actually being the CEO of your business? Well, folks, what if I told you there was a program out there that would allow you to be able to be the CEO of your business much, much better without a whole lot more time. In fact, it would decrease the amount of time that normally you would spend managing your business. Well, believe it or not, there is that system. It's called ANOW. And if you have not checked it out, I encourage you to go to anow.com slash coach. That's A-N-O-W dot com slash coach. Go to their demo, folks. That is what sold me. I'm telling you, I was, I was on the fence until I saw their demo. When I saw their demo, it was, it was, uh, Excuse me. Wow. Uh, all right, editor. Sorry about that. Uh, that might make a good Easter egg. Um, when I saw their demo, folks, it was that was it for me. That I was sold. I was sold. I was sold. Check it out right now. It is more than a spreadsheet. It is a way to analyze your business and to increase your business because you now know what's going on with your business. Once again, it's anow, A-N-O-W dot com slash coach. And by the way, we have a new sponsor here. To, you know, it's not really a business, uh, actually. This new sponsor today is not really a business. Uh, it's just called No Phone. Uh, no Phone is a way to get rid of annoying phone calls. And it works like this. You go into your office, you take the phones off the desk, you rip them out of the wall, and you throw them out the, the window. Uh, that's what No Phone will do for you. You will not hear ringing anymore. Um, you will not be getting any annoying calls for AMCs. You will not have to uh, call people to schedule appointments anymore. Uh, honestly, folks, I've talked to a couple of appraisers who have used no phone and it has absolutely transformed the way that they do business. In fact, they're not really doing business anymore. Um, it, it's amazing. Um, they, they have a lot more time to golf, uh, go to the movies, hang out with their family. They really don't have a lot to do anymore because they are now currently using no phone. Folks, if you want to try no phone, um, you really don't have to go to any website. You don't have to make a phone call. You simply have to go into your office and rip the phones out of the wall, <clears throat> sorry, um, and and throw them out the window. And it's amazing the way that will change the way that you do, do business. Is talking on the phone getting tougher? Get no phone and just watch your business suffer. And we are back, folks. We are talking today about phone systems for appraisers. I get the question often, Dustin, tell me the best phone system out there. By far, folks, the answer to that question is a VoIP system, voice over IP, VoIP system. There's lots of them out there. Uh, they're pretty competitive as far as pricing goes. You're going to pay more. 
than you will from a standalone uh, phone system from you know your local phone carrier. That being said, the benefits, the features that you can have through a VoIP system are incredible. For example, now some of this you can do with your regular phone system, I get that. But to have all of these features together, you're going to pay more with a standalone system. Uh, and you may not use all of these features. And if that's the case, you may want to you know, look at a hardwired system. But I'm telling you, the way that I do business and the way that technology is set up today, if you have a high-speed internet access port, if you have the ability to get high-speed internet, uh, VoIP is the way to go. Here's why. Um, music on hold. Automatic feature with most of these systems. Uh, following. Uh, you leave the office and you no longer are at your desk for that phone call to come in. You can have it follow your cell phone. You can set up features that after the third ring it can go to, you know, not this desk. I, I, we have two... Um, we have two receptionists in my in my office, and a lot of times they overlap hours. And there's one that her primary duty is to answer the phone. So we have the system set up so that the first two rings go to her. If there's a third ring, meaning she's away from the desk, maybe she's on break, maybe she's in the restroom, it goes and rolls over to the second phone so the other receptionist can pick it up. If she's on the phone, it doesn't take two phone rings. It just automatically rolls over. And then on the third ring, if the other person doesn't get it. It actually rolls over to a cell phone of one of my other uh, contractors who is paid to also answer the phones. You can do these kind of, you can set up so many things. It is absolutely amazing with a VoIP system. It really is. Uh, the amount of features, the voicemail, the individual voicemails, the, you know, push one to get John, push two to get Susie, that can all be set up under VoIP. But I'll tell you, some of the things that I love about VoIP is, number one, the whisper system. Uh, I don't know if that's an official term. That's what I call it. Uh, the whisper system is basically the ability for me to train a new receptionist. So when I have a new receptionist, I will have them make phone calls and answer the phone. And I will get on the phone as well. And I can hear both sides of the conversation. But the only person that can hear my side of the conversation is my employee. So imagine this. Someone calls from an AMC and they say, hey, Jessica... Uh, we have an order in Pocatello, Idaho, and uh, you know the fee is th is four twenty five. Is that acceptable? Well, let's say that Jessica is brand new; she doesn't know if that's acceptable. I can say yes. She hears me. The AMC doesn't, and Jessica can say will will confidently say yes, absolutely. That that's a great fee. We would love to take that order. You can coach your employees with the whisper system because they can hear you but the other side doesn't. I love it. It's a great feature. The other thing I really love is we record every single phone call in and out of my office. Now this gets into legal issues. Um, in, in some states you are required to tell people that you're recording. That's why when you call some phone numbers they say you know this phone call may be recorded for training purposes blah 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 blah. Well in the state of Idaho, that's not the case. As long as one side knows it's being recorded, legally you can record every phone call. So we don't have to let them know that we're recording. We just do. We record every phone call in or out. That reduces our liability. Here's the cool thing. Anytime we receive a phone call that may be a little bit, um, may be a problem down the road. Maybe it's an angry borrower. Maybe it's a, a lender that, that we felt, you know, kind of pressured us for value or, you know, kind of skirted the edge of that. I worry about those phone calls and I worry about those things coming back to bite me. So I don't have to have a he said, she said type of a conversation down the road. We simply drop that conversation directly into the work file. Here's the cool thing. With a VoIP system, with a recording system, every phone call is recorded in an MP3 format. So all I have to do is log in to my Vonage account and then I go to that phone call. I can see the number. I can see the length. I can see the time. I can see the date, all that stuff. So, um, you know, let's say I, and by the way, this also works on my mobile. Now I'll, I'll get to the mobile in just a minute, but just to connect the circle here, I can use my cell phone on a VoIP system. Again, I'll come back to that in just a minute. Let's say I make a phone call or take a phone call on that system and I am worried about what is said and I'm out in the field. As soon as I get off that phone, I'm going to Vox the office or send a message to the, to the office and just say, hey, Belinda, the last phone call that I took 
um, would you please download that and stick it in the work file? She knows exactly what to do, and that thing is forever in the work file. If it ever comes down to it, I've got that recording, and I can always go back to it. I love it. Now, let's talk about the next feature that I alluded to a few minutes ago but didn't really complete the circle on, and that is a VoIP system often has an app that you can put on your phone. Here's the cool thing. If I don't just use my cell phone to call and use the app instead, not only will all of those phone calls be recorded, but the caller ID that shows up on the other side is my office caller ID and not my cell phone. That is such a key. Appraisers, if you are giving out your cell phone number, you're crazy. Okay, The few times that I made a mistake and called directly or texted or something else, I regretted it like you can't believe. Because they're constantly calling. Hey, where's that appraisal? Hey, I'm really upset with the value. Hey, how come you told me... How come you how come you called out chipping peeling paint on this FHA appraisal? I mean, I I regret it every time. I would never give out my cell phone number. Use the VoIP system, use the app within the system to make your phone calls, take your phone calls, and everything runs through that app. And the VoIP system itself is such a benefit. Such a benefit, folks. That's the answer to the question. What type of phone system should an appraiser use? A VoIP system, why? Because the numerous, is it going to be more expensive? Yes, a little bit. But the amount of features and the ability to sound like a professional office is huge. And I think you ought to consider it. Folks, thanks for joining me. I mentioned my mastermind in Salt Lake yesterday. Super fun time yesterday. We do have a couple of openings in Salt Lake. Um, one opening in Chicago and I think one or two openings in uh, Las Vegas. Right now, in our Washington, D.C., our only East Coast mastermind, we are full and then some, meaning we have eight members that are a member of that team. That's as many as we can fit in. And then I've got three on the waiting list, believe it or not. So, <laughs> uh, I know. Dustin, open up another mastermind on the East Coast. I would love to. I honestly just don't know how to do it with, with my time. Uh, and trying to protect my time. So it's not really an option right now. But if you're interested in Chicago, Salt Lake, or Las Vegas, please reach out to me at the coach at theappraisercoach.com. Again, the coach at theappraisercoach.com. It is first come, first serve on those masterminds. They are incredible. So fun to be a part of a group of appraisers who actually have a positive outlook on the appraisal industry. Speaking of a positive outlook, thank you for joining us, folks. I love my listeners. I am so glad for your loyalty, and we will catch you next time.